Hello! If you're new to Cream, then this video will be useful for you. Today I'll talk about some Cream basics, how to get better at combat and fighting, and other random facts that you should consider. I'll try to explain everything as short and simple as I can. If you already knew all of these, then guess you're ready to play Cream. First thing first, Criminality has two different game modes, Casual and Standard. Casual is completely free to play, but for Standard you have to press with 99 Robux. Why is it like that? In Casual game mode, being competitive doesn't reward you in any way possible. So for example, if you get like 10 kills, for that you gain nothing, absolutely nothing. No money, no XP, no level ups. That's when Casual, you'll tend to meet more friendly and clueless people. They either have no idea how to fight, or they just don't want to because there is no point. He doesn't shoot me! The guy has a fucking kid with an like, expensive kid and a rifle, he doesn't shoot me. This guy has a rocket launcher, he doesn't shoot me. Oh my god, if he's alive, look at this whole ass gang. Yes? Oh, nobody's shooting me, nobody's shooting me. All of them, big gang, nobody wants to fight me. I have a gun, I can kill all of you, but I feel too bad. In standard, every kill, every injury you inflict on others, every bone you break gives you cash and XP. So standard players are more motivated to fight everything that moves. <laughs> please! No! Wait! Wait! Please! Wait! No! No! I'm just going! I just wanna dance! Oh shit, I'm not gonna get the great. Yeah, I'm not getting it. It is really annoying to deal with them. A group of 10 people walking around the streets and killing everything that's not in their team. Unless you're some fucking John Wick from Roblox and you can kill them all by yourself in solo. But if you're not a John Wick, then I have this simple tip for you. Just play cream with your friends. I would suggest to have at least one friend. It'll be way easier together. But if you have no friends, then it's not a big deal. If you want to, then you can join a gang through a Discord website. Or just try your luck and crouch with some random person and see if they're gonna crouch back and team with you. In criminality, there is two different ways to earn cash. Let's talk about the first method, which is farming. All around the criminality map, there is hidden saves, trash piles, that way you can farm money without fighting anyone. In saves you get money, in trash piles you get weapons. The best farming spot on the map would be junkyard. That area contains like 3 hidden saves, and usually a lot of good trash piles spawn there. The pros of farming methods are, you get profit, you don't have to fight anyone, on the free guns. The cons are, it's really boring, it takes a lot of time. The second method is pretty obvious. Just simply fight people and play the actual game. Killing one person will already give you enough money to like at least buy one melee weapon. Now that you know all these basics, let's teach you some combat tips. Control and recall. This probably is the most important thing they should know about. It's really obvious, but a lot of people don't actually know about this. And criminality has like weird recall pattern. When you shoot your gun for more than two seconds, you just slightly goes up and like get stuck in that position and to avoid that and be like more accurate just simply slowly hold down your gun while you're shooting here is an example i'm going to show you like what i'm trying to say this is what not control recall looks like and this is what control recall looks like high fps to improve your gameplay you should get as much fps as you possibly can the best setting I can recommend is to just turn off all cream graphics settings off and set robot graphic bar to 6, exactly 6 bars because 6 is like minimal shadows and the largest view render distance and need as much view distance as possible Stretch resolution You've probably seen sweats and tryhards make the game look really ugly and stretched It's because when you stretch your screen, you make your targets look visually wider than they actually are so it gives you like an illusion that you got bigger hitbox and also stretch rest gives you like additional 5 fps around that crossover. There is the simple extension you, you can download for free from google. It's gonna let you customize and add your own crosshair since Scrimp has none. Those are all the tips that I wanted to share with you. Knowing and following all of them will help you progress a little bit faster. Thumbs up if they actually helped you. Thumbs up if you already knew them. Comment what you think. Subscribe if you like cream. Subscribe if you hate cream. Anyways, goodbye.